Jacob. Damn, they were John Mark Murray of the magazine. Oh, no, John. J A W N, right? Right, but you can say it just like white people say, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I let my New York friends say Jewel. Jewel. Yeah, that's how, that's how we do it. Coco from SWB originated the Jewel. Jewel. So I call her Shabra. You know, all right. your first call her Shabba. You know, we have to drag the words. We have to drag the words. Um, AOL Black Voices. Um, what? Tom joined the morning. Yes, sir. Um, I heard you just came back. Are you guys ready? Yeah, I had a really good time. Yeah. And I was excited because, you know, like, I work on the mainstream side of the business, but I'm a church boy. So, like, seeing Tamla Man, like, wrap the place felt really good. He wrecked it. Mary Mary closing the house felt really good. So, it was, it was a good weekend. It was a good weekend? Yeah. Uh, was that your first time there? Nah, I go every year. It's actually my favorite, really? one of my favorite award shows to go to. My favorite mainstream. Right. Love Stellar Weekend, but the NAACP is yeah. my favorite mainstream yeah. award yeah. show. What, what, what about the Oscars? I'm not going here. to the Oscars. Yeah. I'm actually going on tomorrow, so I'm actually going to watch it on TV. Okay. Yeah. Who do you think, do you think uh, Monique's going to win? Monique is going to win. The competition is really stiff. No, it's not good for her. I mean, like, like she's up against herself. Right. So if somebody wins, you're going to hear a major. Yes, and she might revert back to her character impressions and like run up the steps and so, throw a TV so at safe. somebody. You know, she's safe. How about Gabrielle? She's not gonna win. Yeah. But the thing is, for her not to have been an actress this time last this year, and for her to be listed in the category with the greatest actress of all time, Meryl Streep, she's already won. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she's already won. Wow, wow, yeah. So, um, AOL, like, what's the hell have you been? Uh, I've been writing the column that I did for the BB Bus since September of 2004. And it's been a great time, man. They give me the freedom to do what I want, talk what I want. And the thing I really like the most is, like, you know, we cover everybody from Hollywood stars to music stars. But they let me get the Stellas and all my church stuff in there. And it just feels good to, to get paid to be myself. You know? I get paid for my opinion in multiple platforms. And I like it. All right, now, Root Magazine, uh, we did a technical print edition. Yes. We did the 50 greatest gospel acts of all time. Wow. In your opinion, who are some of those? Yeah. You be on this, that um, wow. Like, like, you up like uh, well, wow. Growing up listening to, I was like a choir boy. Like, everybody from um, Hezekiah Walker to the Clark Sisters and all that old Hawkins music. Like, that stuff feels good. I like a lot of that old James Cleveland GMWA stuff. Um, but now, I mean, I love a little bit of everything. I love um, Kirk Franklin, and I love Mary Mary, and then I love like a lot of the underground CDs that folks don't really know about, like old Nisha and artists like that. You know, I love Young Crowley, who just won Sunday's Best last year. Like I love singer singers. I love Tamala Man, and I love you know I love the Kim Morels and Karen Clarks of the business. So you can sing real good, like Dietrich Hatton and Robin Sapp and all of that, then I enjoy it. Uh, do you sing? Uh, in the shower. <laughs> You know, and I went through my community choir phase, and there's a few YouTube clips and stuff out there, but now I talk for a living, and I tie real good from talking. Hey Amen. So we're going to see you when you know those numbers. Oh, no, no, no number. No, no sub. <laughs> now, you're one of the one of preliminary judges. Here. Yes. What's the title like? Um, There's some really good people. There's some really bad people. There's some folks that I think church, they told them they could sing, but they really should have been ushered. Um, and it seems like the theme this year is everybody wants to sing like a slave. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> All these under the Ground Railroad people this year. Like, yeah. yeah, Harriet Tubman kept showing up in our room, and we had to keep sending her out of here. So. Uh, you gotta be fresh if you wanna make it to Yeah, you know, a little modern something. So, you know, we like the people that have balance and good look, good energy, and, you know, yeah. Cool. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, man. John Murray, Group Magazine. John Murray. Like John. Say it. And we out.